Welcome back to your two minutes Friday. The timer is on. You want to read minds and detect when people lie to you? Try this. You tell me which one is a lie in this video. I traveled 80% of the world. I coached 200,000 people. I had depression. Which one is a lie in this? Today we'll be analyzing the video that you've just watched. And I know that so many of you are curious to find out where exactly is the lie. I will be sharing with you the answer and most importantly, how to work it all out. But hey, if you've just watched this video on YouTube right now, make sure you leave in the comments. What did you think the lie was and why is that? If you are new here, I'm Dr. Joe Isaac from Sydney, Australia, and I'm very passionate about helping people become the best version of themselves by busting through their obstacles. If you are enjoying this video, subscribe and hit the bell notification button so you don't miss out on my next video just like this one. Reading someone's mind or detecting if they are lying to you and analyzing their body language is a very important skill that you will need to use in many situations. However, it does take time to practice. Previously, we discussed how to analyze body language with associated eye movements and brain types. And if you haven't watched this video, I'll link it up here on the card towards the end of this video so you can watch. Today in this video, I'll focus more on a new lying aspect, the unreasonable reinforcement, which not many people are aware of. In the video that you've watched, I said one lie, and many of you focused on the three components, the travel and the coaching and the depression. And yes, the body language was identical in all of them, and the tone and the eye contact were also very consistent throughout which makes it kind of challenging which one to really pick. So the next piece that we looked at logical reasoning, traveling 80% of the world is approximately 156 countries. And keeping in mind that I didn't state how long it took me for that travel, it is potentially true for someone who's well-traveled for work. Coaching 200,000 people is not a massive number when you think about it, it's about 4,000 roughly a week. Given some of my day events, I have 5,000 or 6,000 it is very likely to be true as well. I had depression, hmm, that's a tricky one because some of you may not know the history. And if you haven't watched the depression video where I talk about my depression and how I helped other people to overcome their depression, I will link it up on the card here so you can watch it later. And you seeing me now as normally happy, jumpy and positive, it is possible that depression was a past thing and it's no longer there. That leaves us with two options. One, I lied to you and this is something I will never ever do. Second option is the unreasonable reinforcement where a person subconsciously, when they know that they're lying, they repeat the lie over a short period of time in an attempt to reinforce it in the mind of the listener. This is a very subtle factor. Not many people are aware of it. And this is exactly what happened in that video. I repeated the word lie three times, two verbally and one on the screen over a course of 11 seconds. That's very high frequency. And I was so impressed to see some people actually wrote in the comments, the lie is the lie, meaning the other three components, the travel and the depression and the coaching are true. So my question to you, what did you take away from this video? To recap, pay attention and listen carefully when people repeat the same information in a short period of time with high frequency and ask yourself one question, what is their motive for repeating that so many times? Number two, pay attention to the eyes, especially with unusual blinking. For example, I have dry eyes, so I would normally blink. But when I said the word lie and I was blinking, really obviously that indicates something is off in this part. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Until then, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.